Welcome to Brit Lab. Today we're asking, are modern trendy milk substitutes healthier than cow's milk? Drinking milk is weird, let's face it. Animals don't continue to do it after weaning, but we humans can't get enough of the stuff. In fact, we consume a massive 250 billion litres of it every year worldwide. But not everyone's a fan. Veganism is on the rise and a whopping 65% of the world's population is lactose intolerant. It's not as big a problem in Europe, but these days milk is still a hot topic. Lactose is a sugar found in milk. When milk hits our gut, an enzyme called lactase helps break the lactose up and this helps us to digest the milk. A lack of this enzyme is what makes people lactose intolerant, which can cause painful cramps, wind and diarrhoea. This is where milk substitutes come in. For those of us that milk doesn't agree with, or if we don't agree with it, there are a range of alternatives to pour over our breakfast cereal. Today, nearly one in five of us choose to drink a milk substitute, and more than a quarter of Brits believe they are healthier than dairy milk but are they really? We're going to look at two of the most popular, soya and almond. Any milk substitute is going to have to work pretty hard to match it. Take protein, for example. In milk and in soya, there's tons of it. But look at almond, hardly any at all. That's not really a problem for adults. We probably eat too much protein anyway. But for children, protein is critical for energy and growth. And the obvious one is calcium. Now, milk is full of it, as we can see. And we need calcium for healthy bones, muscles, nervous system, and good heart function. So look at the calcium in the milk here. We've got tons in dairy and we've also got loads in soya and almond, but in dairy, it occurs naturally. In soya and almond, it's been added. And studies show that the natural calcium found in cow's milk is easier to absorb than the fortified calcium found in the soya and almond alternatives. Many people think that dairy milk contains vitamin D. It doesn't. If anything, just a trace. And right now in the UK, milk is not fortified with vitamin D. But many of the substitutes are. Perhaps one of the least known constituents of milk is iodine. Now, most of us run a little low on iodine, especially pregnant women. But studies have shown that children who have low levels of iodine are at risk of lower cognitive development. And if you have a look here at our three glasses, you can see that dairy milk is a great source of iodine, but in soya and almond milk, there'll be hardly any. Always check the label because soya and almond milk is often fortified with calcium and rarely with iodine. So are there any other benefits of milk substitutes? Soy milk contains phytoestrogens, which are good for women going through the menopause and for prostate health in older men. There's also an argument that says plant-based fats are better for us than dairy fats, but that's an ongoing debate. So there are some upsides to going for the trendy milk substitutes, but look carefully at what alternatives you take, because milk is a pretty underappreciated wonder drink in itself. So which do you prefer? Why not share your own stories in the comments section below? And if you'd like weekly updates, tips and ideas, then please subscribe to BritLab.